Dan dan. Do by myself? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Good morning. Happy Sabbath. Glad to be back here once again. I hope you are as well. I want to tell you about something that happened this week. As you know, next week is Thanksgiving. As you know, next week is thanks. As you know, next week is Thanksgiving. And after you have dinner with your family, what do you do Thanksgiving evening, Thanksgiving night? After you're done eating and you're done talking, you go to the store. <laughs> and you get ready for Black Friday, right? Black Friday. Yeah. Well, I was scheduled to work on Black Friday. Because they needed as much help as they, they could get. And so I began to panic. Because, because the Friday evening is the Sabbath. Right? And so I put in the time, I put in the quest to get time off and got rejected. And so I had to go to the people lead and talk to them about it. And thank the Lord they approved it. And the reason why I tell you that story is because I did not want to go up to the people lead. Hmm? Hmm? What do you say? The reason why I did not want... The reason why I tell you this story is because I did not want to go talk to my boss, my people lead. Uh, because I was new and, you know, it seemed disrespectful. But I still needed to do it. So, today I want to, I chose a lesson on what to do when we need to do something we don't want. Yeah. 
What should I do if I need to do something that I don't want to do? Let's pray. Our Father, have thine own way. Dear Lord, we thank you for once again another beautiful Sabbath morning. We thank you for taking care of us throughout the week and providing for us and showing us that you love us, Lord. I ask that before we begin the study, you once again send your Holy Spirit upon us to guide and inspire us as we partake of your divine word, Lord. I ask that you speak through me. Let me not speak my own word, words, but use me, Lord, for I am willing. I ask that you continue to be with us, take care of us. Forgive our sins and take care of us all and help us to remember what we are about to learn. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Let's turn to Genesis chapter 22. This story is very familiar to the children. Okay, we welcome the children because today lesson is about children. <laughs> Today's lesson, the children know very much yeah. about. Yeah. So let's go to Genesis chapter 22. Okay, so I'm jumping. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And we're going to start at verse 1. And as we read through, I want you to pay attention to the character of Abraham. Okay. Verse 1. I'm going to start at verse 1. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. Verse 2. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering unto upon one of the mountains which I tell thee of. 1 and 2. Okay, ចឹងខ្ញុំនឹងអានពីខជូនអឺក្រោយការទាំងនោះមើលព្រះត្រង់លបងអាប្រាហាំដោយមានបន្ទូលហៅគាត់ថាអាប្រាហាំអើយគា
miền chấm ngó lưỡi dương đài In Patriarchs and Prophets, chapter 13, this is what this lesson is based on. Ellen White says that Abraham, Isaac was Abraham's only son, mm -hmm. and Abraham loved him so much. And now, when Abraham heard the words of the Lord, his heart was pierced. Yeah. ចំណាយពេលប្រហែលជាមកភ័យឆ្នាំតាំង And it doesn't say in the Bible but Ellen White says that he visited all of the places where the angels came to him and told him you will have a son and he waited he was looking for an answer from god maybe maybe i'm maybe i'm dreaming okay ຈັ່ງໃຫ້ວິນຍານບັດທະນິດປາບ He hoped that an angel would come to him and tell him otherwise, tell him something different, to lift this order off of him. Uh, Verse 3 And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and clave the wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went unto the place which God had told him. In the morning, what did Abraham do? Uh, three, one word. Uh, uh, so in the morning, when morning came, Abraham had sorrowed and struggled all night. And yeah. in the morning, what did Abraham do? Mm -hmm. He did not resist. Do you think he wanted to sacrifice his son? And yet here he is going to the mountain. And verse 4. But on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. Mm -hmm. So, the journey lasted three days, and during those three days, Abraham was very scared to say anything. Abraham He had, Ellen White said that he had no heart to say a word. And when he saw Mount Moriah, the place of far off, he saw the cloud, the presence of God at the top of the mountain. And that's what he knew for sure. And it was the voice of God that told him to sacrifice. Yeah. 
hay đôi chỉ vật tầm miền nước bia đại thua tài tài miền bản tu đừng quạt hay quạt tài đại chun hay sa tăng ba mọc sập thì chỉ quạt tha công được chữ ấy công thừa tam ấy bia na mà ao sạ gặp phải mình được anh chăng á còn tài quạt đồng ba tha sầm lên đừng cứ chia sầm lên là bọc bia hay bị luôn trong tài tài miền bản tu chỉ mũi quạt chỉ nhược nhơ chẳng hay về đại quạt mà khơi bọc bơ đừng cứ quạt đồng tha cứ chia sầm lên bia mà rồi phi rồi được hạ quạt chữ chạm mền một ngày Verse 5, And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide here, ye, he, abide ye here with the ass, and I and a lad will go yonder and worship to, and come again to you. Verse 6, And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering, and he laid it upon Isaac his son, and he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and went both of them together. 5 and 6. Okay, Ruột prap tập bào tha cho anh được tin đi sân mơ lìa phong anh nâng nâng tư anh nọc thoại bằng cung chỉ mùi cồn anh Ruột xâm mơ ai anh vinh khổ bà mùi nụ quát chạp dược ô oh, Đã xâm rập tổng bạch đốt đạ lơ ý xạ chỉ cồn lì Hào ý quát dược phương nâng cầm bật căn nợ đầy bọn đá ước nửa tư So Abraham felt that only God should be the only God should be the only witness of this sacrifice. So he told the servants to stay down here. Just me and Isaac will go. Mm-hmm. Did Abraham run yet? Did Abraham try to escape yet? No, he did not. He kept on going. Verse 7. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father. And he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for burnt offering? Verse 8, and Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went, both of them, together. Yeah. 7 and 8. Abraham Câu chiếm đã xâm rạp chìa đồng vải đất Nú bia trông nâng cột cùng ai Đâu chứ nét Câu nôm khía tật tiền So here The words of Isaac Isaac's question pierced through the heart of Abraham Chà, bị xâm đầy đài câu xua Cứ áp và hàm Tơ tài Đôi thà Khi miên bị ảnh giấy Đôi thà Đôi Đôi còn bật xâm lạc con chân á and here's the thing. When Abraham got to the mountain and he saw the cloud, he knew that God was there. Yeah, and he knew that God was all powerful. And he accepted that if the Creator wanted to take back his creation, he can do it. God was the one. Mm-hmm. And if Isaac was to die, God could resurrect him. Mm-hmm. Abraham held on to the promise that I will make the great generation. Verse 9, And they came to a place which God had told him of, and Abraham built an altar there, and laid the wood in order, 
and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. Yeah. Ellen White says that once they got there, Abraham finally told Isaac the plan. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. And Isaac was raised up right. He was raised. He was raised up obedient and faithful. Yeah. ແລະໂດຍຕາມກະໄດ້ <coughs> បងហាត់បងរៀនគាត់តាមផ្លូវរបស់ព្រះយើងឃើញព្រះសរសើរគាត់ទេនៅអឺលោកក៏បាត់ចំពោះ <coughs> Isaac felt that he was honored actually. Mm-hmm. And so he offered no resistance, both of them, Isaac and Abraham. Could they have decided to run away together? Could Isaac could have beat Abraham and run? តើអាហ៊ាមអើតើអ៊ីសាកក៏អាចវាយពុកហើយរត់គាត់បានដែរពួកគាត់ធំមកពុកគាត់ចាស់ហើយនឹងគាត់ណាមួយអាហ៊
Verse 13, And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in the thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. So yeah. now they completed the offering, and Isaac is still alive. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Verse 14, And Abraham called the name of this place Jehovah Jireh, that is, that it is said to this day, In the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. That means God will provide. Yeah. Mm. Alright, so that's the whole story. And do you think that it took a lot of faith for Abraham to do what he just did? He needed to trust God as well and His promise yeah, by the great generation. Yeah, mm-hmm. And so, did Abraham question God throughout this entire story. He made no excuse either. And this whole time, the devil was actually whispering and, ta- and tempting him, saying that God will never ask anyone to kill. Yeah, Isaac here was obedient. And Abraham was obedient as well. Yeah, Mm-hmm. Verse 15, And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham out of heaven the second time, verse 16, and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, verse 17, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemies. Verse 18. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Yeah. 15 through... 19. 18. អឺដោយនាមរបស់អាញព្រោះអាញបានធ្វើដូចនេះគឺមិនបានសំស្ចៃទុកនៅកុំតែមួយនេះនោះអាញនឹងឲ្យពើដល់អាញហើយនឹង
And so God has seen Abraham's faith and trust, and now God makes a vow. Because you haven't loved your son more than me and withheld your son from me, I will bless you and all of your generations to come. And all the nations of the earth will be blessed by your seed. Just like the rainbow in the sky, when Noah came out of the ark, God made a vow to Abraham. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now what about us? Okay, uh, we can discuss mm-hmm. about the story a little bit more. Why did God take Abraham on this point? Hmm? Because he failed to be patient with Ishmael. Yeah. And committed polygamy. Yeah. គាត់ធ្លាក់កន្លែងមិនបានរងចាំពាក្យសន្យាលំបាកជាច្រើននេះអញ្ចឹងហើយដើម្បីគាត់ខ្លាយជាបីតាងនៃក្តីជំនឿគាត់ត្រូវតែសាកល្បងហើយគាត់ត្រូវមិនមែ
I find angels very interesting. Yeah. Because they're always looking, wondering, seeing what's going to happen next. Very curious. <laughs> yeah. ពីព្រោះវាជាមនុស្សដែលអាត្មានិយមមានន័យថាចិត្តកំណត់វាយល់ដល់សេចក្តីស្រឡាញ់ដល់ព្រះបាននេះបន្តែវាដឹងវាដ
à rẻ bàn thờ tam trung để mặc quạt trung để trung thắc cầm ao thờ bà tao viết thờ bà về viết thờ bà viết bao là buông kê buông ai ngồi thờ bà ao thờ nhà tư chỉ mùi viết đây chân thấy đây trung mình mình tu nấc mình 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 thà còn để chưa tới bàn sừng cừu thì cứ ở thì nhé Verse 21, Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? 22, Seest thou how faith wrought with his works, and by works was faith made perfect? Verse 23, And the, scriptures was, was, and the scripture was fulfilled, which saith Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Wow, yeah. Okay, uh, 20. 20 through 23. Okay. 20, uh, Jacob Jumpu, Jacob Jumpu, Peak Home of Pay, Dom of Pay Bay. Our Manukum Lau Oi. Nat Chung Dung put a root at heart, like they to move thy at me and cap of put time, no smooth hand slap high. My pay mui. Cho lúc Abraham thì ai chỉ cao dưỡng ta ở mình bàn bóp chí sợ chả rập đòi ca bộ bật rực Nông ca đại lúc bàn thay ế sắc chí câu lúc nơi lưu ác nà tê rử ấy Đâu chân này nẹ khơi thả Tại cái đây chùm nứa bàn rùm chí mùi nâng ca đại lúc bộ bật rực Hai sẽ cái đây chùm nứa bàn cổ bật lạc đau ý xa ca nụ ảnh So then James brings up Abraham Look at Abraham. His faith was justified with his works. He proved to God that he had faith. Yeah, chẳng ờ ờ nhưng khơi thà cái lại nâng gia cổ ban đằng ấy đằng hai cổ ban prap đòi dương ờ thà chẳng mấy thà lục Abraham nâng cổ ban cướp lẽ đòi xa ấy đòi xa quạt thưa tam quạt rụp rụt và ông ấy quạt thưa ấy cứ quạt thưa nâng thế chẳng hãy quạt ban cướp lẽ đòi xa ca nụ ai đòi xa ca để quạt thưa tam So shouldn't we as well prove our faith? Chẳng chẳng sâu mà dương đâu chỉ áp và hàm tài nhé ở dương bàn thưa ta mà vậy để trông bàn bằng quạt dương là vậy ở chùm nứa bao dương bàn cướp lẽ đài Sometimes at work, they tell you to do something you don't want to do. Yeah, chun khá đôi khi nhóm đài nghe, kê áo khi nhóm thơ với mũi đài khi nhóm mình chẳng thơ. Sometimes you go to school and a teacher wants you to do something that is boring, something you don't want to do. Yeah, chun khá khi nhóm nó xa là điên khi nhóm đôi khi nhóm đôi khi nhóm đôi khi nhóm thơ với mũi đài khi nhóm mình chẳng thơ. Sometimes God wants you to give him some of your time and you don't want to do it. Pe khla eh prayas trong chang ao yeung chom nai pe muay trong pon tae yeung at chang thue te. But in those situations what should we do? Ta bong on ta ne khnong pe dai yeung nuoi nai pe dai yeung khchul ta yeung pu thue yeung mai. We need to prove our faith. Yeung trau tae ong han se kdai chom nue robas yeung. Because if we call ourselves Christians, we ought to behave like it. We go the extra mile at school or at work. And when God asks something from you, you give it to Him. Whether that be an addiction or a relationship, you must give it up if God demands you to do so. We don't want to give up the things that we love. Dương tăng bông ôn tăng khá nhóm cư ở trong đẹp bông ở vầy dương châu chết dương sẵn lãi nương nhiên nụ tê We feel like Abraham We don't want to give up our things We don't want to put it and sacrifice it Dương ở trong đẹp bông đẹp bông nâng hãy đẹp hào thà chìa dài ngô chì But if we give up these sins If we give up these worldly lusts Don't you think that God will bless us ten times more? 
bông ôn miền đại chạm vào rộng cực tế bà sân dư dương lẹ bóng đậm bầy trông á nụ trông nâng bật tiền dương lơ mùi dịp đọc đội lụ châu vế yeah. And it's not easy to give up uh, the things of this world, right? Đại dương bị bạ bóng bóng châu vì đại dương sở lãnh châu chân á cư bộ bạ bông ôn And that's when you need to cling to the promises of God Dương hai dương trâu tài dương cùng rù vì áp hàm phong đại dương trâu tài lẹ bóng ហើយជាវិសេសគឺយើងអឺជាសន្យាពិសន្យារបស់ត្រង់យកមកឲ្យចាំមែនកាសស៊ុសវ៉ាអ៊ីប្រាហាំដែរគាត់ដឹងថា